So Sneeko's been banned from YouTube and every single other social media platform and the question on everyone's lips, including mine, is should this have been allowed to have happened? I honestly don't know which way to look at it. So we're going to get to the bottom of whether YouTube were right to do this or not. Now YouTube was obviously created to give a voice to the masses and to the many and to the people that don't have a platform to speak up. That's why it was created. It was made so you could find things outside the PC world of television. And for creators without the constraints of television and movie to be able to voice their genuine opinion on things whether they are right or wrong no matter what they were and so this original goal of youtube has taken a bit of a twist we've had andrew tate being banned and now sneeko and it's a bit like who's next then what are they going to start banning people for in the future you think your cat memes are safe animal cruelty mate you think your huge pranks are safe cruelty to humans mate and i mean these big huge pranks where they've got contestants doing things for money how how is that that much different to Squid Game? Making people do crazy, sometimes even embarrassing things for money? It's like a huge circus. If everything isn't safe on YouTube, then nothing is. And I've already seen these videos of creators saying, I'm glad YouTube banned Sneeko. And it's just because their content is pretty similar, so they're scared the same thing is going to happen to them. So they make these videos to sort of wrap a safety net around them. Well, I refuse to just sit here and pander to the corporations and say, excellent choice, sir. Excellent choice, madam. I'm so glad you banned Sneeko. That was perfectly the correct thing to do. There isn't any discussion to be had either way. That was spot on. Just to wrap a huge safety net around myself to ensure my content stays safe. But I'm also not going to sit here like some idiot with no real opinion and say, no, no, he shouldn't have been banned. So I've sat here and actually thought about it for a while. As anyone should before for making a snap decision on anything. So let's take a look at what's going on and then make a decision. Makes sense, right? Look at the facts, then decide, logic. So the first question we really need to be asking ourselves is, was Sneeko promoting a message that was inherently wrong? And to that I say, yes, of course he was. But again, that is just my opinion. That is the power of YouTube. I thought that his depiction of women was just ridiculous. I barely even gave it a passing thought, to be honest. It's just like, shut up. But does that mean he has no right to say it? Well, in the real world, where we don't live in a private company, the answer is yes, he does have the right to say it. And as far as I'm concerned, that was YouTube's original goal. As I said at the beginning, to give a voice to the masses, to give them a platform so anyone can be heard, no matter what it is that they have to say. I mean, surely that was the point of it. Surely. Otherwise, why would we come onto this platform? We would all just stay tuned into the latest Netflix series. But of course, YouTube is a private company and it is their for their right to ban people as they see fit. But where is the guidance? It just seems so random. There are many, many other creators on the platform stirring up hate. I mean, look at the Black Pillars. Never mind hate, that's just pure misinformation being spread. Yet nothing is being done about that. And I don't even have to look to know that there will be women on the platform destroying men as well. I've genuinely not even looked and I would bet everything I have that there are women spreading just as toxic a message about men as Sneeko was about women. So what else do we need to think about? Well, if Sneeko is banned for voicing his opinions, that yes, will 100% created negative thought patterns in some susceptible men, which for a small minority of them may have led them to do dangerous things. So if he or anyone else is banned for voicing those opinions, where do we draw the line? Because we can't just be going around randomly cancelling people when there are far worse people spreading far worse messages and there's the exact same thing going on on the other side of it. Women destroying men. So we've got Sneeko destroying women and on the other side, and as I said, I've not checked, we've got women destroying men. But have we heard about any of these being banned? No. Why? It really does make you wonder, doesn't it? In fact, I'm going to pull up a clip right now. Do you think men are important? Like for what? He dumped me because I was cyberbullying his kids. I don't need a man. Men are like a dessert. Naturally, I'm on my way to get drinks with this boss. Yeah, so you can have them, but you don't always have to order dessert. He makes way more and has a terrible relationship with his kids. You know, you don't need them. Right. You just, whenever you feel like, you have some. Oh my kids. Great entertainment. Hmm. Yeah, for my entertainment. I wonder what would happen if a man would say this about women. I need them for sex and entertainment.
So like I have a really good feeling about this one. Do I tell my ex or do I wait in like a month or two when a framed picture of me ends up on his boss's desk? I don't know what that clip was because I haven't found it yet. I did that in the future. But if Sneeko has been banned, should that woman be banned? So then that's the first thing we've got to think about, isn't it? Where do we draw the line? And to me, the line is where speech can incite people to do dangerous things in the real world. But then didn't people say that violent video games are going to cause everyone to go crazy? Did that happen? I would argue no. There might have been a few one-off cases and this is where my next point is coming from. I don't think it's in particularly the messages that cause people to do these dangerous, disgusting, vile things. Sure, it might speed up the process and get them to that point of doing the dangerous thing faster and that is something that we need to take very, very seriously. But I think in 99.99999% of cases, the people that were going to do these things were going to do them eventually anyway. It's just in them to do it and there's nothing that we can do about it except lock the fuckers up. So where do we draw the line? Well, the obvious answer to that one is that YouTube is going to have to create a new set of rules and guidelines with regards to talking about these kinds of things. They can't pick and choose. They can't cherry pick people. It has to be fair. It has to be one rule for everybody. And that's it. And people can choose to follow them or risk getting themselves cancelled. And the second thing we need to be thinking about is if YouTube isn't a place for people without a voice to speak their unadulterated opinion, then what is it? It can't just be another streaming platform. It can't be some weird off-brand generic Netflix that anyone can upload to, but they don't actually know what they're allowed to say. It has to be something different. It has to be something special. Or again, as I said, we may as well all just go and watch TV. And to this, I say, YouTube really needs to think about what it is. Because cancelling people like this sets a precedent. Or before you know it, we're just going to log in one day and it's just going to be Brad Pitt, Angelina Jolie, Paul Rudd, and all the other Hollywood superstars across all of the thumbnails. And we're just going to be sat there, slowly realising that all we're doing is actually just watching movies and TV shows and then poof that's the end of it it's just another corporate subscription service I'd love to know your thoughts on whether you think the banning was correct or not whether or not you agree with his message and I'd like to think that you don't because that type of stuff making men angry at women is not going to do anyone any good in a lot of cases men and women need to work together but if that is your belief then that's your belief just Stay away from my channel, yeah? But Sneeko, as a fellow human being with his own thoughts, his own beliefs, and his own ideas, and his own right to free speech that so many millions of men have died for the privilege of us to have, and again, I know that he does have this right in the real world outside of YouTube, and that YouTube is a private company, and it is their right to ban who they want. But as I said earlier, that's not why YouTube was built, was it? That's not why it's become the power house that it is today it's called youtube for a reason as in it's up to you what you make content about and it's up to you what content you watch so should he have been banned where do we draw the line and what needs to change because banning people at random cannot continue creators need to feel secure that they can speak their mind or we're just going to end up with an army of puppets to watch and I'm sure you can agree there's certainly no point in that. And if through the message that these creators are saying, they amass a group of like-minded people, then surely that message is resonating with people and should therefore be allowed to spread. But then you can argue that one man can manipulate the masses. I mean, we all know there's one obvious candidate for that. And should he have been allowed to talk on YouTube? Definitely not. So I lean more towards he shouldn't have been banned. But I do understand YouTube's reasons. They're a business at the end of the day. But in spite of that, it must be said that without concrete rules that are coherent and understood by the creators, the system will crumble. And that special place that is YouTube, and I do still believe that it is special. There isn't really anything like it. It was absolutely revolutionary when it arrived on the scene. And it still is a great place for the average person to voice their opinions. And of course, have fun but if cancel culture continues for long enough people will get sick of it creators will start getting scared of what to post watching every word they say and people will just stop saying what they actually think and then the system truly will crumble which is the last thing i think anyone that loves this platform wants to happen and for now that's all i've got to say on the matter let me know your thoughts in the comments and if you enjoyed this video check this one out i got my face rated by a black pillar and no, I didn't get a good score.